Hi, good morning. My name is Hussein. I'm a Chinese living in Shanghai, and I drink coffee. Morning is the best part of the day. That's why I would like to be surrounded by beautiful scenes in the morning. Sing a song. Are you happy in this modern world, or do you need more? Reading a poem and a kiss of my beloved one, with the smelling of a cup of coffee. I'm not the only Chinese who drinks coffee. Actually, coffee is more popular than Chinese tea in Shanghai. There are even more coffee shops than Chinese tea houses here in my city. Believe it or not, there are already more than 600 Starbucks in Shanghai, more than any city on earth. Last year, they even opened the world's largest Starbucks with an interior area of 30,000 square foot. Actually, this is the first time I'm inside in this Starbucks. The place is so huge. Realizing that China is a country with rapid growth potential, another famous coffee brand from America called Pete's also opened their first coffee roastery in Shanghai in 2017. In fact, comparing to those big chain coffee shops, I prefer to drink coffee in those small coffee bars. So why is coffee so popular these days in China, at least in Shanghai? Here are some reasons. First, we are very much influenced by the Western culture through Hollywood movies, TV series, even YouTube videos. People see themselves cool while holding a cup of coffee walking in their office area, even without drinking. It is a symbol of fashion and style. Second, we need caffeine to keep us awake during the day. Shanghai is a fast-moving city. Everyone is asked to be efficient and functional at work. Slowly, slowly, we become dependent on coffee. The third reason is about space. Shanghai has a population of 25 million people. The average square meters each one has is very small. Instead of staying in their old place, more and more people choose to work and socialize in the coffee shops. The last reason I think is that Chinese people are becoming richer than before. Actually, the coffee here is not cheap. Using Starbucks as an example, one cup of Grandi cappuccino costs 35 RMB, which equals nearly $6. I think it can be even more expensive than those in America and Europe. One of the side effects of becoming rich is we want something more than basic. We are becoming selective in our tongue. Instead of drinking coffee, we are tasting it. Just like the way people drink wine, it makes the life in Shanghai more colorful, hopefully more wonderful. Okay, that's all for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you like it, please give a thumbs up to support this channel and show me some love. And if you are new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe and leave the comment below telling me what you want to know about China or Chinese people. I will make some videos on some interesting topics in the coming day. And the most important thing is, 
I will see you guys in my next video. Peace. 再见。